This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. Hi, I'm Ryan Lee. I'm a plant biologist from Indiana University. Today I have a gardening tip for you about seed dormancy and how it's going to affect our gardening. So dormancy is defined as when you have a viable seed and you put it in the, in the appropriate environmental conditions for germination, but it doesn't germinate. So the biological purpose for dormancy may be to spread out the germination period for a plant in hopes that one of those seeds will find the best environmental conditions to thrive. It's been shown um, that, that some seeds can, have, can lay, lay dormant, given good environmental conditions, they can lay dormant for tens to even hundreds of years. There's been research that's, that's shown germination of viable seeds that have been laying in the ground for upwards of 1,200 years. So while this is a great um, characteristic for natural environments, a, a plant might have an advantage if it has some dormancy in its seeds, it's a real aggravation for, for gardeners because when we plant a seed, we want it to germinate within a few days, not within a few years. So lucky for us, there's a few things that we can do in order to um, promote germination and get rid of dormancy. The first key is to remove the seed fully from the mother plant. So the plant tends to um, produce molecules which promote dormancy. These are hormone molecules that promote dormancy and inhibit germination. So for example, with a tomato, if we're gonna collect tomato seeds, then what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and get all of those seeds away from the mother plant. In the case of the tomato, there's a, there's a, a gel that these seeds are bathed in and that gel contains these hormones which inhibit germination, promote dormancy. So I wanna wash that off thoroughly. Um, to, to get, a, get rid of these inhibitory molecules. The same can be said of, of zinnias. So here we've got some zinnias that we're gonna thresh and I'm gonna find some zinnia seeds. I wanna try and remove all of that maternal uh, material, all of the mother plant material, because it may contain molecules that would inhibit germination. And this, uh, biologically, this serves the purpose of we don't, a plant wouldn't want seeds to germinate while it's still on the mother plant. So we try and remove that. That will help eliminate dormancy. So um, lucky for us, in both tomatoes and zinnias, these are domesticated plants. And either intentionally or inad inadvertently, uh, breeders have selected against dormancy. So we don't find a lot of dormancy in tomatoes and, and zinnias, for example. However, this is an Indian blanket flower. This is a wild flower that's common in the Midwest, and we like to plant it in fields, and, and it looks, you know, gives a very nice uh, wild look to, to a, um, a garden. So if I wanted to collect seeds from this Indian blanket flower, I can do it the same way. I can um, uh, thresh this, this head and find the Indian blanket flower seeds. However, the germination of those seeds may require some specific environmental conditions. So the first one is what we call stratification. That's a process by where we take these seeds, we soak them um, briefly or we dampen them, and then we put them in a cold environment for four to six weeks. So if I wanted to stratify these Indian blanket flower seeds, next spring, um, about four to eight weeks before I'm ready to plant, I'll take them, I'll put them in a moist paper towel and place that in my refrigerator for four to six weeks before germination, before I plant them. The other way of dealing with this is actually plant them in a the fall and let mother, mother Nature take care of the stratification. The last way that I'm gonna talk about in, uh, of breaking dormancy with these, with these seeds is to place, um, place the seeds on a, a sheet of very fine sandpaper and just gently scrape the seeds in the sandpaper. This will create very small scars that break open any hard seed coats and allow the plant to germinate. So this is Ryan Lee from Indiana University. This has been a gardening tip about seed dormancy. Thanks for watching.